Okay, welcome to Halo Wars Tournament Central Novice League. This is going to be the first game in this league so far, and it's going to be Master Shrek OV Link 19M. Uh, I get the map choice just because they don't mind uh, what we play. There we go. Um, hopefully, I'm just going to be able to give some tips on how to get out of this league and move into Onyx and Champ. Pretty much last season most of the players that played in this novice league are now either in the Onyx or Champ so they've improved gigantically. So hopefully I can just give some tips on how to move from Gold, Plat, Diamond into those higher ranks of Onyx and Champ. Shrek is the more experienced novice player here and is one of the favourites to move up to the Novi uh, to the Onyx League next season. I've never seen Link play so this should be an interesting game. Uh, Link has pretty much played exclusively as Captain Cutter and Shrek I've seen him play Vorodas now and again, but he is mainly a Forge main. Um, the map is Bedrock. A mini extensive map with three minis uh, behind each main base. You never want your allies to pick up your minis. If they pick up one of your back three minis, you're in trouble. This is taking an awfully long time to load. Here we go. Yay, no black screen. Okay. Shrek has chosen to go power extractor first unusual for Avoridas sort of sort of says to me he's not going to be that aggressive and Keta we've got two supply pads which is standard Keta he's going to be looking to pump a fair amount of marines early game hopefully we see him pick up his minis uh, as early as possible Harvester constructed. No early aggression from either. Shrek is going uh, grunts complete. rather than chopper, so he's gonna give Link time to pick up his minis. Whether Link takes advantage of that, we'll see. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. Generator constructed. Gen third off Link. Could have went supply third. Who will he pump those? I suppose he, by not picking up those back minis, he has got enough to just hit up the wings anyway. <clears throat> by going gen, set third. <coughs> Early node. Supply pad constructed. Looks like Shrek is going to be doing the same. Shop, ready to roll out. Right, Shrek has Vardis put no early pressure on, but I think this chopper is going to go back and take those minis. This is the difference between players in Novice and the ones in Champ and Onyx. They do not let the opponents pick up minis. So for coming up two minutes to not have any of your minis is bad news. Shrex was the same mind. He's only now picking up one mini two minutes in. Okay, he's varied us, but... There we go. He's nicked one. Vorodas doesn't have to worry as much if he loses one of the minis. Because obviously he'll, hurt, he'll earn resources from um, picking his mini back off. But for Kata to lose all three mini complete. minis, he is in massive, massive trouble. He's pumping snipers earned. right now to deal with it. But Shrek could just pump up. Mini Shrek really complete. should have had a couple of choppers here going against the. Uh, and try to thin down these marine numbers. Our base is under attack. 
while it might look like that's a pointless 200 point, 200 blue, it's stopping Link from getting his minis up. And for a cutter who's going to be wanting to pump early game infantry, he's down to just being able to pump from one base. Oh! A Link's gone and nicked one of Shrek's. Their troops are brave but foolish. Uh, that's not great if our base is under attack. Shrek knows about it because Shrek scored like that off really quickly troops. and earned some resources. But Shrek doesn't know. That should have been the hint that he's just seen Link's unit drive right past him. I don't think he's clicked on. He has not clicked on. Mini so that's a good complete. move. For Link, and he's picked up this one mini. But Link has not. Link's got to assume that he's lost his other two minis. And there we go. Shrek is pumping choppers. Just bad news for Link. If he leaves him out those minis, he's not going to be able to get enough resources at the time. Shrek's let one of his choppers just get picked off, and only now he's picking up that mini. Shrek has not any resources from Link yet. And Link's picking up his secondary base. Uh, I wonder if these Marines have got grenades. I'm assuming they... Nope, there we go, grenade throw, 10 seconds. Shrek's, Shrek's gonna get punished for not getting aggressive. Vordas' whole game is getting aggressive. <clears throat> Captain Cutter with the extremely quick taking powers as well. Okay, Shrek's finally noticed, Our but he's put a barracks up on there. So Shrek is earning resources now by picking off this base. I'm assuming Shrek has put two leader points in the combat spoils because we haven't seen any any drops. Even though the Grenadier drop is a good idea against the cutter. Maybe he's just about to pick up a leader point. I see a Grenadier drop on these Marines here. Leader point earned. He picks it up. There we go. You should see a Grenadier drop here. Reconstructed. There we go. He's just got to pick off those snipers now with his choppers. Augmented extractor upgrade complete. Give him those choppers a little right uh, Choppers ram those snipers and he'll be okay. But he's lost the Grand Deer because of those Shield snipers. Tower constructed. Shield comes up. Um, what's happening is Shrek should have been aggressive from the start. Um, and taken advantage of having these two minis. He should have pumped Grenadiers over them and basically just made Link play defense on Generator his own minis. So once you take those minis, that should be it. That should you should be struggling. Shrek hasn't taken advantage of this, and Link has been able to get an expansion up and two minis, and he's put pressure. Harvester constructed. I don't think he's not going to be able to take a base with these units, and he is still tech one. Reporting for See, duty. Shrek now is here in the little but. And jump pack brutes coming out. Our base Just is out under of the attack. one. And there'll be two turrets up. But there we go. We've got marauders and under the shield. There we go. I was just going to say where's the ODST drop. There it is. The only trouble is that ODST drop is not going to do what it's worth. Oh, we've got the mine down. One, one set. You want to be using those OBS to drop smack bang on these rollers when they can't sit Our under the shield. Um, Link should have should have run away, got his units away because he's Marine not Marine got enough to take out the shields, and he's just been punished for it. Lost most of that push, and Shrek knows he's got an expansion. What you want to do against the Vargas is never give them the opportunity to just earn free resources. So Shrek here now is free 
just pick off this base. And if you look at his blue income, it's flying up because he's using the forces. I'm assuming he's got combat as well. And he's rolling in the money. And I'm Your amazed the Shrek hasn't picked up this back mini. Combat and Dita has linked. Eight minutes in to the free mini. Almost like you're done. Is under attack. Leader point earned. Um, Link is going Cyclops now. It's going to be too late here. That base is going to drop. Shrek's going to burn a lot of resources from that. Marauder ready for battle. And the Cyclops are going to come out too slow. Fortress upgrade complete. Leader power ready. Shrek can push this base now and win. Might to do a bit of damage against the Marauders. But Shrek's got control of this game now. And it's going to be difficult for Cutter to get back involved. Shrek knows he's got this base though, and he could have picked that off straight away. Leader power ready. So, game one, Link is Our looking in trouble against. Attack. One of the favourites to provide promotion from the Novice League in Master Shreko. He's picked up one of his nodes. I'm also amazed that there's two nodes here free. Link, when he pushed this base and saw a shield, he should have known he did now and have to take the base, drop back, and just go for the node game. Keep five nodes. Keep an army to make sure that this Our base is wrong. Under attack. He made the wrong ready. call in pushing a base when he didn't have the units to do it. He lost reporting, reporting. a lot. No reason. With his ODST drop, he could have slammed them right down on the marauders. And had a feast. Infantry okay, so, level one researched. so he's pumping. Cyclops, be interested to see what he builds from this garage, whether we can see. Oh! And we finally had the unlock. It's not that many, but. Two unupgraded turrets. He's gonna take. Base is under attack. Attack. Three Construct. buildings, I reckon, by you. That Nightingale. Yeah. Okay. Use the wire build. He'll claw. There we go. So now that splay pad can't not be hit. Yep, and the ODST ready. mines, that's the damage ODST mines can do. So earlier, if you got the, the ODST mines on this army comp, it would have done some serious damage. But, he was under the shield at the time. Um, Link needs to start building on this base. And only now, <laughs> after getting jump tracks on it, realise that... Uh, Shrek's got his back mini. Our base is under attack. So Shrek has finally got control of all three of his minis. Link still has no interest in taking his. So when Link pushed Shrek's main base, that at that point is not your main priority. If you don't have your back minis, at that point of the game, that is your priority. And the nodes. If you know Vardas is only on one base, just defend your own. Because Vardas gets weak and the game goes they on. They attack me from above? Fools! Power extractor constructed. It's gonna be a Link's be gonna be able to pick up these um, two minis again. But Shrek is going for map control now. Supply pad constructed. He has left a marine in that garrison though. So Link should know what he's building. Harvester constructed. Fairly similar populations as well. Shrek on 57 and Link on 75. I'm amazed that Shrek hasn't got uh, more aggressive yet. Maybe he's playing it safe. We have got a cold Yako 2 coming up. Shrek could have popped this base Harvester again. Harvester constructed. Fairly quickly. I'm pretty sure that's where the Kodiak's going. This base is going to get 
extremely Get these difficult. Air units off of us. Oh, it's not going on the ridge. That's that is the perfect place to the Kodiak to defend this base. Um, I'm not sure where he, he's going with that Kodiak. Complete. With the ODST drop as well, this base could be extremely difficult for Shrek to take down. That is not a good place for Kodiak. Under fire from enemy artillery. You just want to make your Kodiak difficult to get to whenever possible. That's prime location. Here we go, here's the first main interaction. Is Kodiak doing damage? Are we going to see OBSTs? Are you sure things are up? He's absolutely shredded on the Red Army. He's walked through him. I'm surprised Shrek had no army comp with Cyclops Apex constructed. Uh, and ODSTs and Marines. Marauders are good, but Shrek should be pumping a, a few Brute Grenadiers in this mix. Elite Rangers. And, but this time, are we going to see Link make the same mistake and push a base that he can't take? It's cloaked. Okay, he's definitely going to run this time because it's cloaked. Maybe he would have stuck around if it, if it wasn't. How Shrek is under 53 attack. pop? Where's his pop? There's his pop! <laughs> okay. So, we've got a volatile scarab. On the field. We've lost a power node to the enemy. Link's army's gonna suffer against that. Oh, he's gonna get... He's gonna get a shield gen up. Oh, Link's letting him get a shield gen up. Always got to go for the shield gens, and it is up. Shrek's base is badly damaged at like about 35%, but this Scarab's going to get there. And it is going to start all in these units. Our allies are in trouble. Where's that Kodiak? There it is. Too close. Put the Kodiak on the ridge, or up on this ridge. And Link's army is getting destroyed. And that Scarab will eat up the Cordia. Scarab's barely hurt. There. There to There's the Vet 1 engineer to heal him up. Expansion on the main. So, Link could have had a couple of Kodiak out by this point, but I think he just went for the one and sold up for. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. Link's in massive trouble here. I don't think there's any way you can kick out this Scarab. So they want to fight, eh? Is Shrek. Vehicle upgrade? I'm not sure whether Shrek is just going to go for a second Scarab. Probably best off just waiting now. No waiting. Go push that base, but save up for that Scarab. Vehicle upgrade. It's not building any other units. I think this is going to be game. Unless there's a good two mines for there. Nine mines. Link is not going to be able to survive this push. And there we've got Thank Cataclysm! A fairly early Cataclysm and a mid point left. Shrek knows this game. I think uh, we can save uh, uh, the base if we struggling, but we knew it was over. Our base is under attack. And he's gonna go cycle straight for this. There's nightingales there that can go this base. 
This might be a bad call. You get a cloak here. ODST drop. I would hope you want to go for the uh, edge of the They're fairly weak. Take a couple of seconds. And the base drop. It did not get cloaked. Uh, Night kills there. And An enemy has lost maybe have taken Mascara. The ODST mines. No healers. Maybe chase that scout down. Reckless of this slightly to the left. Yeah, it's got it. They send infantry to attack me! Yeah, Liam, he could have he could have um Spoke this guy, but he quite possibly could have saved that base by smoking it. Leader power Taking down those engineers really quick. And we'll use it the ODST mines. I think he had like ODSTs out. But he could quite possibly have made that scar up. Run and maybe take me down. But yeah. He did not use the smoke to his advantage. Whereas he did, did use it earlier. When defending his base. There we go. Game one Shrek. Um, these guys gave me the opportunity to pick the maps. So I picked Bedrock. I'm not going to pick Bedrock again. So when we look at the stats. Boradus generated. An extremely amount. Extreme amount of supplies. Compared to Link. And power. That's because he had free reign on. Minis and bases. He could just hurt all those free resources. Link failed when he pushed Vorodus' base that was under the shield and he, he didn't have enough to take it down. Just don't push a base if you haven't got enough to take the shield alone because it's no good if you take that shield and you're only going to take one or two buildings off the base and you will lose a significant amount of your army then it's just not worth the trade. Um, so game one goes to Shrek in the Novice League and every other league. It's a home and away game. So the first game, the home player gets to pick the map. Second game, the other player is then the home player who gets to pick the map. Um, I'm going to go Rift for this next game. And I don't think Shrek's going to go the same leader. Pretty sure Link will. But we jump straight into game two.
with only four out right now. This could be a big mistake. Link's got Link's got grenades. And just unfortunate for Link. He's not He's not building Marines. He's bought grenades, but he's not building the units to go with it. He's still sitting at 21 pop. Fred might just win this by default, bro. If you're gonna buy an upgrade, you wanna make damn sure that you're gonna be Armory using it. Constructed. Because right now, those grenades are absolutely worthless without the mar marines to use it. Um, he's sitting on 400 blue as well, so he could be pumping. Got marines come out, but they're coming out too slow. And also, um, Kata's hero is trash. Especially versus Desmas, it's not going to do anything. Especially coming this late into the game, where Boundless Siphon will be coming in. Oh, we're going combat tech marines as well. We haven't got marines out. He's sitting at 21 pop. Shrek is losing it. I, this, is, this is madness. Shrek's sitting on 2,500 blue. 2,500 blue with shrapnel mines, and he's only got four choppers. Chopper under attack from enemy troops. <laughs> he's beaming three marines. <laughs> it's actually a good split from Link. He did lose a marine, and those combat tech marines show how rubbish yeah. choppers are. Choppers are trash. Don't listen to anyone that tells you choppers are good against someone that's got uh, upgraded marines. Even marines with grenades or choppers, um, sorry, grunts with shrapnel mines will shred through choppers. So, yep, so those choppers now are useless. Shrapnel mines for them are useless. Shrek is now going tech 2, but he's sitting on 3,000 blue. I think we're going to see. Oh no, Bone Foundries. Okay, that's odd. I was thinking he must be saving that blue for more power extractors and he was going to go um, Scarab again, but no. There we go. Those choppers. Just got white. Vortex not gonna do much. Uh, he's definitely not gonna do anything against the leader. I don't know why Shrek went for the leader. Yeah, combat tech marine should be shrapnel mine, but um, they they're rubbish against marines with grenades. Never mind combat tech marines. Okay, so. The second game in the row has built Kordiax. Nothing wrong with that. They're a good unit. But this end the place to put down Supply pad the Kordiak. constructed. So if you go in defensive on this map, Supply pad upgrade complete. You've got this ridge here, or even better, to save this base if you can defend it, is this ridge here. We're slightly back. Up here, there, you're not gonna really Turret defend. Constructed. You're not going to be able to defend this area great. If you can, if you're good enough to defend this area here, you don't want to be here. You want to be pushing this base. Um, we're eight minutes in. We've seen the player get aggressive. Researched. And constructed. Are we going to see? Shrek has got six Marauders stacked on our country. Where do you need? <laughs> this? He has spent that yellow. I've been keeping track on leader points, but I'm pretty sure Shrek just picked up Bangla Siphon as well. Great so the next leader point is the death must drop for him. Supply pad upgrade complete. Um, Shrek is sitting on 56 population and Link 42. That is nowhere near enough, especially when a good bit of your population is in Kodiak. I can see. What he's thinking here, Link, he's thinking he's set up here to defend this base, but that, that's just going to get steamrolled. And Shrek.
Shrek is not even aware. Okay, now he's aware. But we've got a shroud. So, Shrek can just cloak these marauders and walk straight in between these Kodiak and white Which I'm pretty sure we're going to see. Yep, yeah, here we go. There's a the cloak. There's the warlord. He's going to get his hammer down on these bad boys. Oh, he's used he's used his ODSTs far better with the slam. But we have team grenades. The ODSTs have not used the grenades. That is their main use. Uh, Link could have possibly taken quite a large chunk of his army with those grenades. He did not use them. I think he got distracted by his Kodiak and get wiped. And uh, yeah, Shrek lost in that 50 for oh, the yeah. And I think he took the leader as well. Is that a Vec 3? That is a Vec 3. Cyclops! Well, that base is going to drop. Vec 3 Cyclops in the garrison. See the damage it does. Oh, and a Kodiak just sitting there. Get get that Kodiak out. And another Kodiak. Link uses Kodiak. Really nonchalant. Uh, they're just gonna get wiped. You really gotta protect Kodiak. Be behind armies, not in front. And Shrek is letting him get away with that. Oh, and he's lost the bet. Cyclops for nothing. Link is down to 21 population now and he is not Supply building units. Destructed. He's got the money, he's not building units. Um, I know it's, it's difficult to do more than one thing at once, but Turret upgraded. if your game plan is to go to air, like it seems to be here, he's going to go triple air. Pad. Sell up your barracks and just chuck a supply, supply pad on it. You never want anything to just keep slaps on your base. Let's get rid of them. Pad this army comp now. Leader power ready. Master Shrek's learned this game because he's gone elite. He has learned the enemy has captured uh, from game to game. Anti-vehicle turret and a siege. One Kodiak in the right place. One Kodiak not. <laughs> yeah, so Link has not got aggressive in this game. He's the Decimus. Um, and basically the longer the game goes on, the harder matchup. It is a hard matchup to begin with, but literally every minute of progress is, Decimus gets stronger. Now though, I don't think there's enough. Oh, if he gets the... Oh, okay, sorry, I thought that was ODST. He's still got an ODST drop. If he gets an ODST drop on these units here, he can completely wipe Shrek's army. He needs to send the Hornets a bit faster than the bulk of the army. Just in front, get that ODST drop down. I don't think we're gonna see the Oh, we are! Alright, we're gonna see that leader go fairly quick. He didn't get the armor down either. Right, now Link needs to just push. Shrek's down to 60 pop, but that's mostly in Banshees on build. No! Push, push! You've just wiped the army. You're up to 98 population. You need to push now. Because you were surprised was, Link's surprise was that he went Hornets. Shrek is immediately countering it by now building Reavers. If Link waits another 30 seconds before he pushes, Shrek's gonna have enough anti air to just be east him. Cyclops under assault from enemy ground forces! And he's gonna go flat out. 
and he's worrying about an elite in the garrison. Leader power ready. And he's gonna get beamed. Right, split the unit. Nah, no, he has to split. Uh, when you fight the beam, you don't just send your units one way and then send the units another way. Anyone can keep up with that. You just beat the units. You send all your units in one direction. And you drag a couple in a different direction, a couple in a different direction, and just try and split as much as you can. Watch what army the beam is following, and then split that army again. And just keep doing that. If you just send your units one way, and then send the rest of you in the way. Pretty much most players are going to be able to keep up with that. And we've got a Vortex. Not a bad one. Careful Vortex. But there's enough out there there now. Shrek is very quick uh, with the Reavers. Um, Ready for and he's going to be able to annihilate. Yeah. Oh! But you don't want them getting close to those Marines and OTSTs. That will happen. I'm on the fire for two fairly quick. Link these more Marines next in here. And a couple of Cyclops if you can go for the Reavers. Under attack. He has got three Vector Cyclops. And, but he's going to lose them all to Banshees. Oh. Just run! Just run! Under air assault! We <laughs> two Cyclops. Massively important to the Reavers. And. Another drop. No, oh, it's a close air support. Which can get picked off by Banshees. It's extremely quickly. There's one gone. There's two gone. Expensive drop. And there's Big Daddy Desi. Links to his balls. And Shrek has just went ahead and pop. Cyclops under fire from enemy air units! Uh, he would have done far better, Link, if he had. A couple more Cyclops, just mix in a couple of Marines. Leader Got ready. them to focus down the Reavers. Because they will destroy Reavers quick. Bet two Cyclops, smash them. And then get your opponents to fight uh, with your Marines to take out the Banshees. But at this point now, Link needs to come up with something special. He's still going Hornets, which. It's going to be too much, this is. This is going to be too much to push. Amazingly though, yeah, we've got Death Smashes on his way. And we're going to see Wraiths, yeah? Yeah, we're going to see Wraiths. So Shrek is switching up the Banshees. Hope he keeps building the ant there. Yeah, he's... Uh, I don't... Oh, wait, man. Yeah, our base is under attack. Oh, there's Big Daddy's move. Don't know how much of a shell in this thing can Click the, the unit. I'd like to see Desmas go into these grub units. But I suppose the beam can do it. And we're not seeing a split here. Declaring Shrek have three rate for that last move. Cyclops under assault! Base this base attack. is gonna drop. Uh, Shrek should be using these two. That's it. Should be using these bleeders off of the ground units because um, these marines will whack banshees. The wretches are braver than I'm not sure what he's gonna take this now. Oh, we got a hammer. There's all the marines gone. Now. Off up here. And once Link loses this base, Our that is going to be it. He's down to 38 pop. You can 
see how tight they can be because Link lost that one interaction against the Banshee Army at Bayou. Where he should have been down the Reavers and he would have had a match in the time. But he lost we went to Cyclops and got steamrolled. And at that point it was game over. He won that interaction. Did have a third base. Uh, possibly protected that. But it was losing that one interaction. And Desmas just can steal. Their infantry is trying their luck. And there we go. Uh, Link is down to 25 units. 19. I'm not sure where. Uh, okay, uh, Shrek's going to make sure he hasn't picked up another, another base. At this point, there is no way in holy hell that Link is getting back into this game. He's pumped, he's pumping Marines. <laughs> oh, bless him. He's fortifying the base. He's pumping Marines, which at this point now, with a Warlord and Decimus out, uh, he's just they're just going to be able to feast on him. Power ready. See him power turret ready. up, but even this alone will be able to take this base. I need God, that Desmus could probably take this base. The Three turrets are going to do nothing to Desmus. Oh, he's pulled the rest of the units. He has to take the advantage, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Desmus alone can tank this base. Even with one sniper. Where's where's our warlord? Under fire from enemy air units! Our there he is, taking a node. Fortified <laughs> level two researched. Desmas is getting, being get picked off by a sniper, three turrets, and a couple of marines, and his shield has gone down. And we'll see his shield go down. I'm not sure this would hurt, hurt him. Yeah, he can, he can heal one sniper, and a couple of turrets can also actually take health off Desmas. I'm not sure why, why he's running about ready. It's over! Close air support is back, but unfortunately Link has 100 blue, so we won't be seeing that anytime soon. Got bogeys on my tail. But look, we still got a barracks at the back, so that's been unused for 10 minutes. But the only cyclopses we've been seeing are the drop. Our base is under attack. Matter of time, space drops. It is locked, but I'm assuming that's for about two Marines. One Marine, it didn't even come out. The Warlord picked him. That's the boy. Right. Still alive. Just chilling next to the wall. Shitting his pants. And he's gone. That is game. So that's 2 0 to Shrek. Link in the Novice League. Shrek is one of the favourites in the this Novice League. So I can imagine him picking up a lot of wins in this league. Um, well, that's going to be a baptism of fire for Link. His first two games against one of the favourites. Leader power ready. He just need, you just need to be aware that against the Decimus. You need to get aggressive, you can't hit back, you can't. Uh, and also, I think the main point for novice league players to take from these games are if you're going to go air, show the air to the opponent as late as possible and then make sure you punish them with the air. You don't let them see you've got air and then wait five minutes before you actually um, engage because if you do, any half these players gonna have anti air and anti air destroys air. So if you are gonna go into air, do it on the slide and 
make sure you punish them right away when they know you've got air. Don't give them the opportunity to get out there. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, guys.